What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Daniels Vlogs here. And guys, how y'all doing today? And yes, we are back. Right back in the kitchen with the great lighting. I just love having better lights. You guys can see my packages and stuff better. Um, today, we are doing an unboxing video of the Hornets Metal Shaker Cup. Something I've been wanting to have for a while. And I got the shaker cup, the, the starter kit, so it comes with this and some packets. So I'm really excited to have this. It's boom, so it's nice. And I really hope it's a really nice one. I know I've seen people do videos on how long it lasts, and it says it lasts 24 hours. So, yeah. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day so far. And this is my first G Fuel for the day. I haven't had no G Fuel today, so whatever single pack I start with, get the one I drink today. But um, here we go. We're gonna go and pop this open. wrap a sticker the summer stickers still got the summer stickers going on here pretty cool <laughs> my invoice oh yes the single packets let's see which ones we got in here we got oh, it's open. all right so we have straw banana strawberry banana Battle Juice, Snow Cone, Tropical Rain, let's go, Ramble Sharbert, Blue Ice, and good old fashioned watermelon. So I am pumped to have some of these OG flavors here with me like Especially that Blue. tropical rain. Yes, tropical rain. I haven't had this flavor in a minute, so I'm glad I actually got this and it came with it. So having tropical rain and blue ice and rainbow sherbet and watermelon, all the OG flavors in this, thankful for that. That's awesome. Thank you, G Fuel. Alright guys, so the next thing we get. Gosh, this thing is heavy. Dude, look at this thing. That is crazy. Like, I like it. I like Perfect, man. I remember when GPL announced this, I was kind of like, mm, about it, because I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but watching people's videos, there's the inside of it. And then here is the insert, you know, and then here is the inside. I was very skeptical about it because I didn't think I would want it, but now that I, I like the feel of it, I like how it has a weight to it. It fits my hand perfect. Um, it's great. And on the sides right here, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I don't have really good uh, camera quality right now, but it shows the ounce on this side, and it's really cool. So it's awesome that they um, have this, and I can't wait to use it. All right, guys, so I just cleaned it out. It looks awesome. The cups are already getting cold. Um, the ice works really good with it. Obviously, it's a metal cup, obviously, so it does, of course, it's going to work. I mean, if you guys are familiar with Yeti cups, you know, um, you guys would be familiar with this. So. I am trying to test this thing out, so we're going to give it a go. We're going to get the um, the blue ice. The reason I'm doing the blue ice is because I got a whole tub of it, but I don't have a whole tub of the tropical rain, rainbow sharper, or watermelon. But I also have a tub of the battle juice, so yeah. And of course, the strawberry. I don't have strawberry and banana anymore because I finished that off. But still, um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open. And we're gonna go ahead and shake this. This thing's probably gonna be loud. So here we go. Could you just drop it in here? Oh, that's all coming out. Dang. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and shake this. Give it a go. Put your lids on tight. Alright. Top what's up? Alright. Oh, it's actually not that loud. So, we're going to go ahead and test this out, um, and I'm actually kind of curious on how it's going to taste and how it's going to come out. So, um, always shake your cup for 30 seconds to a minute, and there we go. Alright, so we got it shaken up. It's, but it's definitely fizzing and it's nice and cold now. So we're going to go ahead and test this in 3, 2, 1.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Classic. Classic blue eyes. Love it. I love it guys. Works very good. I like how it has this little topper here makes it easy to drink without it spilling all over your face or whatever. Um, and it's an awesome cup. I like it. I like it. Mm, 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 mm. But uh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I love Blue Ice, guys. I really do. I've always been a fan of Blue Ice. And this, this single packet is great. And now that they know they got the hype sauce and sour blue chug rug uh, single packets at Walmart, I can I got single packets everywhere I go now, so I don't have to wait online. Um, so what do I rate this shaker? I do like the bottom. I put the chug as the bottom, right over here. It just says uh, dishwash dishwasher safe on top rack, uh, made in China, um, Typhoon bottle dot US patient D number can. And then it shows your website on here, thebestwickedshaker.com. So um, that's pretty cool that you know this, the bestwickedshaker.com helped make these. Like it's still like it's metal, but you still kind of feel like a little bit of plastic, but it's more metal feeling. But it has that feel like you're holding plastic. But I'm guessing that with that being said, you know, have this shaker and then the classic shaker I got, the Hornet shaker. I want G4 to make more of these because look how cool this looks. This looks really nice. I can drink this like and it stays cold forever. And I like it. So it's basically, you know, I'm a big fan of the Yeti cups. I love Yeti cups, but this one. Oh, it makes the G feels refreshed. So, I mean all G feels are refreshing, but this one, it, with this shaker, it makes the G feels really good. But um, make sure you guys go check out the website. They still have these available. Um, if you want to try, use code SHOCK. Shout him out. Um, I think his discount is 30% off. So I'm not sure, 100% sure. Um, but use his code. Or if you have any G Fuel points that you got that builds up, you can also use that for a discount. That's what I did. So instead of me paying uh, $27 for it with my G Fuel points I had, I got a discount on it and I only had to pay $9 for it. So I had quite a bit of G Fuel points. Those G Fuel rewards points, they come in handy. So with me being like a long-term G Fuel energy drink drinker, those points come up, especially during the summertime when they have like pool floats, bathing suits. Uh, that's how I got my Naruto flavor. Um, so those points, man, they're they're totally worth it. So make sure you guys use them and they, and get discounts. If you have, if you have any other codes that you want to use, go ahead. What do I rate the what do I rate the shaker? I don't really rate shakers, but this is my first time rating a shaker. I really like this. It it, it makes it refreshing. Like because Jeep was already refreshing, like I said. So I'm gonna rate this. 9.7 out of 10. Um, it's great. Love it. It has like a little thing you can like connect to a book bag. So I like it. I like it. It's going to like this. I like how it has a metal top to it because the top is cold. Meanwhile, the bottom is not getting cold. But the it may not, this bottom might not be getting cold, but the inside is cold. So um, definitely go pick it up. I recommend it. A lot of people have been getting it lately. And yeah, on to the next thing. So I have to tell you guys about something. So my last video, I had a guy comment saying that's not the YouTube algorithm. Um, so if you guys are from, not familiar with that video, I'll put a link down in the description. You guys can go check it out. Basically, that video is talking about the Orange Vibe G Fuel cans and the G Fuel tubs. This guy isn't a subscriber of mine, and he says that don't blame it on the YouTube algorithm. Now, here's the thing. I do YouTube videos different than other people. I don't copy other people. And lately, my YouTube counts have been going up and then going down, up and down. And my watch time has dropped and gone up, dropped and gone up. So, yes, it has to do with the YouTube algorithm because the, the way that YouTube is now, guys, you guys that have all these big, you know, big subscribers and all that stuff 
you guys are good. But for a small YouTube channel like mine that only has only 100 something subscribers, oh, I had 200, now I'm down to 199. That's what I'm talking about. I'm losing subscribers not because of the algorithm. It's because I know how to do my videos. And honestly, the algorithm, the way that it is now, guys, I don't know what's going on with YouTube now. Like, the way they are now, you they know. They keep changing the rules on us. They keep changing rules on us. Like, you can't even get away with doing a, uh, a YouTube short without them taking down your sound. When it clearly it's your own video with your own sound that you used. See what I'm saying? So let's say I'm doing like, I don't know. I did a YouTube short and my views went up on it and then it dropped. So I don't know what's why they're cutting everybody's watch time or not. I know it's on mine. I know that my videos are sticking with G people and I'm not copying other people. I do my videos differently. That's why. A lot of people don't get that. So personally myself, I don't like copying other people. And yes, I know other people do G Fuel videos. But the way that I do my videos and the way that I do you know, my vlogging, when I'm vlogging, you know, things are different on my YouTube channel. I'm not going to try and get a, a strike with YouTube and be like, oh, guess what? Your content's going to get a strike for copying so and so's YouTube video. Like, everybody does G Fuel. Obviously, YouTube knows everybody does G Fuel videos, so they're not going to take them down. But I like to do mine differently. We have different beliefs and different views on G Fuel. We have different ways of losing subscribers. We have different ways of getting subscribers. But the way that YouTube is now, I don't know how much clearer I can be with y'all that the YouTube algorithm has changed a lot. And it's sad, but it's true. So I'm not trying to, to be, as you said in your video comment, a douche. But I'm straight up being honest, saying that it has to do with the algorithm. It has to do with the fact that my watch time and my views have dropped crazy. And they've gone up. I, I don't know what people are... I, I, I really don't know, guys. I honestly don't know. And I'm not a big you know, guy that cusses on my video, but some things need to be said. And, you know, I have to be honest, because I'm not going to be like, oh, man, I'll take it like a grain of salt. I know it's just comments and stuff, but, I mean... There was some things he was right about, but the main thing I'm calling out on is how he said, the, not the algorithm. So, a guy that's been on YouTube for like so long, like 2009, I went from being on YouTube from 2009 to only having like 20 subscribers to like 200. And then I dropped from 200 back to 199, then back to 198, then get another subscriber, and now I'm back to 199. It, it's crazy, y'all. It's, it's crazy. But I do say thank you for commenting. Um, not many people really comment on video, so I can't really, you know, not be thankful for commenting. But the point is, it has to do with the algorithm. I'm sorry. I'm calling you out on the bullcrap. Um, but it is an algorithm. And all these other YouTubers have been having the same issues. Even the bigger ones have been having issues. So, uh, yeah, so... We can, we, can, we can blend the YouTube algorithm with no problem. But anyway, guys, I just want to tell you guys that, you know, be careful on YouTube because there's some trolls on there. Then there's threats from YouTube saying they're going to take your videos down. Then you start losing subscribers. Then you start getting subscribers. Then you, they just can't seem to make up your mind. Like, but anyway, I'm probably going to get a lot of comments on this, but I'm speaking my mind. And that's one thing I like. I like speaking my mind. And, you know... I'm guessing not many people like the truth. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, act up or anything, you know. I'm a guy that loves doing YouTube videos. Just a small YouTuber that wants more subscribers and viewers. And for the way that the YouTuber that's trying to make this as a career and seeing the your subscriber count drop and then go back up and then drop and then go back up, drop and back up, so on. It's always consistent on my end when I look, so. Exactly. So, guys... Just be careful. You know, I'm really trying to do more for y'all in this video. It's just a lot's been going on. My car's acting up again. Um, so I can't really go out, you know, do too much. My car's, you know, as I say, crap right now. Um, we're stuck here. We're basically stuck here. So until like, my car gets fixed. Um, so I'm just going to do what I can do. I'm seeing what I can do to do more for y'all besides G Fuel. 
But guys, I'm really, you know, I really like my YouTube content and I love doing it for y'all. And it's just sad to see subscribers go up and down. Like, people come to watch my videos to watch me do G Fuel for people who's never had G Fuel before and they want to try themselves. For, but for me to lose subscribers and keep dropping and then going back up and then dropping and then watch time dropping or whatever, you know, it's just, it irritates me. Like, but that's like I said, guys, just be careful out there, guys, because YouTube nowadays is, is crazy. And and just be safe, guys. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching, um, and um, comment what you think about how YouTube is now. Like, comment if you've had issues with your YouTube channels. Like, there's there's tons of people that's out there that has less subscribers than I do. So me, like my wife, she only has, <laughs> I only like, have seven. Yeah, she only has seven. But I'm the one that does all the tags on your videos. So. And I have all the tags too. So guys, just be careful. Keep doing YouTube. Enjoy the weather. It's beautiful lately. It's been nice out. Um, well, here. I'm not sure where everybody else is, but it's been nice here. Um, and just keep doing your YouTube videos. Keep doing what you love. Don't let, you know, YouTube try to ruin, you know, your videos. Um, and, and like I say, the guy that commented, I'm not trying to call you out anything, dude, but, you know, it has to do with the algorithm. So... I know you're not you're not a subscriber to me, but but just realize that you guys gotta realize too that it has to do with the algorithm. It has to be because, like I said, with the subscriber count going up and down it like confuses the crap out of me. So um, I'm not sure. I know that they have had some bots like come in, but like. But nowadays, I think they got rid of some bots. I'm not sure. I haven't had any bots in a while on my YouTube. But I, I know, know Sean still out had there. some. There's, yeah, there still is some out there, but I haven't seen any on my videos. So, um, but anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, go pick you up one of these cups. Um, it's a really, it's a, I like how it's 15 ounces. So, but I mean, that's kind of weird because normally they're 16 ounces. I should compare this to another well, shaker, but I'll probably do that in another video, like to my other Hornet shaker I got. Then um, again, it get, the serving is 12 to 16 ounces, so it should be still alright. Anyway, you guys, you have a great day. Peace.